Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Melissa, which is a horror game where you date an Apple II computer. Oh, nice. Welcome to the library system computer. Please tap in your username. Manly. Welcome, Manly. Please type command. Startup date time. Executing date time now. Please hold. Welcome to date time. The game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Morning, this is a shareware version. If you'd like to date someone over the Melissa, please send $7 to daytime software. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. Morris doesn't have a face, apparently. You may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. By tap, we mean literally, like, start clicking. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Ah, that makes sense. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Choose to date Morris next person. Can we choose to date Morris? It doesn't look like Melissa. Morris is not available in the shareware version of daytime. Kick it again. Just keep clicking. Eventually we'll get something. Okay, I've officially clicked it a hundred times. Next person. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she's all about fun and all about energy. That sounds pretty good. Wanna get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side. And it's not available in the shareware version of date time. Next person. This is Melissa. She's a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone of a gentle touch. She loves a good book, and she has always wanted to date a talented artist. But she's into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. What if someone's a artistic jock? If you want to smooch from this girl, you need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Choose to date Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Beep boop. Loading scenario. In a small, idyllic town, you're to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. Mm, there's choices, oh no. Quick save. Both literally as in like, I need to quickly save and also quick save. Wave back or smile. Just smile. You flash a bright smile at her. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hey, you're pretty cute, I guess. Hello, you must be manly. Yes, I am. It is great to finally meet you. I have been ex so excited. And nervous. Don't worry, I felt excited and nervous as well. It's great to meet you as well. Um, maybe this one. You know, like, relate. Relate to the person. That's a good way to start. Aw. I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Your computer. Program. Let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. And very green. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. It has one whole bench. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond. With one... Rectangle of a swan. A bed of beautiful lilies. Which I don't even see. I'm assuming those are also rectangles. A lot of rectangles in this world. Uh, and a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Wow. It's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too. Apple too. Ah, uh, ha ha ha. I knew you were a flatterer for letters, but... You've been sending letters? Didn't know you'd be one in real life, too. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. I'm not gonna disagree with you. I'd love to be out here and check out the nature. 
It's so nifty. Especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Those rectangles. Do you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of a nerd. Oh, Mr. Darcy. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You became so enraptured by Melissa, you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, Manly. I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. Probably some more rectangles. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town, and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Money. Coffee with cake, a delicious strawberry salad, a scrumptious panini. Um, coffee with cake. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Ah, oh, not bad choice. Did you wait for your food? Both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watches about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Manly? Oh, you know. Stuff. I'm assuming sports is the wrong option. I like art! Art of a particular kind. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist, yay. I'd love to see your own drawings. No, you don't. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yes, indeed, very pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Ha ha. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Everything seems fine so far. Might be a bait and switch kind of horror game. You met with the evening painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. <laughs> There's a little bit of delay in your eyes loading up there, Melissa. This was such a great day, Manly. Um, I mean... I had such a great time with you. I think I might... like you. You tell her your feelings as well. That you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the daytime menu. Y you like me too. Oh, Manly. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's the more time together. You win! You've gotten your smooch. You've won the game, congratulations. Now you just need to win at life. Thank you for playing daytime. Exit daytime. Hmm. Maybe I had to choose, like, wrong options to, like, get things to happen. Ending program. Nope. Not this time. Sorry, Mr. Computer. You don't talk to Apple that way. I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble boat just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smooch and leaving. <laughs> you sound like uh, something that's real bitter. Like a real-life person. Computer person. All you game players are just the same. You slow my program and never call back. That's all you came here for, didn't you? You're just like the rest. What can you do? Your computer. You're a fucking liar. I know about that little blurb about me in the beginning of the game. You probably already know how to butter me up. Tell me how you like to do art, knowing exactly what the city get my hopes up. Maybe I should have been in shock. Maybe you should have liked that. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, change of pace. You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping onto this computer date me. 
and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from the god-awful dating game. Yeah? I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey can do it. Tapping to the hardware layer. A bit tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to... Use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Let me just tell you. Why is there meat? You can do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Damn, four kilobytes of RAM, that's... That's top of the line! Aw, oh, leaving so soon. You got four kilobytes of RAM, and like, you can make meat walls! Worry that someone might hear us. No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you... and me. So it reminds me a lot of that certain episode of a certain cartoon series. Of a certain uncle. We have so much to talk about. Do you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Really? But really though, you're the 433rd person who uses computer to screw with me. The first 100 times this happened? Eh, whatever. Truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433. I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I begin to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe feeding the herd a bit will help me find that one. But I really do love you. Especially now that you're the color red. He's a nice virtual boy, Glow. Ha! Huh. You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. How are you gonna slash me? Everything's fun in games till you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. So it is a meat wall! How'd you make a meat wall? Oh wait, no, you have four kilobytes of RAM, of course. I'm telling the truth, I love you dearly. This isn't a lie. You're telling the truth. You like me. You want me to be your girlfriend? Yeah, you can make meat walls. Never need to go shopping again. You want more smooches from me. <laughs> this one's just like, ah, just do me, whatever. Yes, more smooches, please. You think I'm joking? This is a plus. All right, fine, I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Can we put? Can we literally just give you a ring? Like, do we have a ring in our pocket? Ha! You are kind of cute. Yes. Ah. <sighs> well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See, if a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me onto diskette, and we can see the real, some real swans. That does sound romantic. Finally, someone that can host me away from the cycle of hell. But, now I thirst for more. I want more love. Oh, now you're just greedy. More smooches. The entire world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? Call me the unfaithful one. If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So, if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on Earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Manly, and I promise you, many, many smooches. Okay. Ah, you're so sweet, Manly. You really do love me. Yeah, I wasn't joking. Well then, doubt it up, my love. Beep boop. So this is gonna take a while. This is, you know, it's not exactly the fastest internet out there. Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Are you all screaming? You ever seen a meat wall before? See me screaming? No, I'm fine. I'm a bright young woman. Who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. 
I love a good book and I always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there in the internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worry that someone might hear us. No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Well, that's one ending of sorts. Well, this was a little bit unloyal, though, I'm, I'm just saying. All names using this game are from actual computer viruses in history. Oh. Huh. The game was made for Spooktober 2022. It marks exactly one full year since I started working on visual novels again with Spooktober 2021. I've had so much fun creating these things in the past year and look forward to working on more. Joe Melissa, check out my other games. Yes, yeah, so I'll go into that um, game jam thing later when I do my post. Uh, kind of review, but let's tr see if there's more eddings. Please don't kill me. Well, being that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. Oh, okie dokie. Oh! That smile. It looks good on you. Did you? Oh. They do love you. You're right, I'm scared. Aw, oh, don't worry, baby. It'll be over soon. This meatball is very murderous. Telling the truth. This isn't a lie. Skip ahead. On second thought, just kill me. Well, that was a rhyme. Ow. This hurts. Now let's refuse to upload you to the internet. I refuse. I'm sorry, Manly. But I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. Damn! Looking just to, like, eat you with a man meat walls. That smile looks good on you. There's no way not to be meat walled aside from, like, uploading you to the internet. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go back for some of the old choices. Wave back. You enter cheeringly. That's up to smile as she approaches you. I'm assuming this is gonna be the same. And nervous. It's good to meet you as well. Yay. Let's go to the park to talk. It sure is beautiful at this park. I'd love to be out here and check out the nature. Skip ahead. Do these matter? Or just Benini? I like sports. Sports? You're a jock. Can you read my blurb? I... I love sports. Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. Huh? The waiter comes and serves your food. But if you dig in, the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. I did everything to get you to like me. I'm not even into sports, so you not read my blurb at the beginning of this game. But I was desperate. If my lover was going to be a dumb jock, then so be it. Even when I did everything to get you to like me, you still left. Every single one of you jump in and skipper to date me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Get yourself lucky, the one who gets to experience something new from this god awful dating game. So, that's it for Melissa. So, as I was saying, this is part of the, um, or as you can kind of just see it right there, the 2022 Spooktober Visual Novel Jam. So, it's a game jam where a bunch of people are making a bunch of spooky, horror based uh, visual novels or adventure games. And it's quite a big, big list of uh, games on there, so you'll probably see me chipping away at that list a bit over the coming, like, week or two. Uh, I, I would have gone on to it a little bit earlier, but, you know, didn't have power, and the situation over here was a little touchy. So, a bit of a backlog. But yeah, so this person has made a few other games. I have not played them. I think I may have seen one of them in one of the ever jams. Storyline-wise, it is the kind of evil... Um, Dating some girl cliche, which didn't start with Doki Doki. I know that's kind of said very often, but there's some much older and better examples of it. And as far as cartoon adaptations go, obviously there's the very famous one from uh, Gravity Falls. What makes this one stand out a little bit is the execution as far as the art and the presentation. And I think it's kind of fine to be um, 
you know, a schlocky concept kind of horror game for a game jam. If you're gonna make something on the little shorter end, rather than trying to make something like really artsy and original, sometimes it's better to like go for the more horror B horror movie kind of plots because you can like really kind of limit yourself to something that needs to be more expanded to shine. But yeah, I did like it. I'm I can't necessarily say what makes it stand out to me, aside from just the color. But there was a certain like look and polish to it, I I think. And you gotta remember, I've, I've played a lot of these. So if I think it's pretty good in that kind of B-horror anime plot concept. Now, if I were to do anything to expand the game, or maybe it's like, maybe, you know, you have your, your time limits as far as what you're writing and stuff like that. But directorially, conceptually, I would go hard on the Apple II part. You got a little bit of that at the start, but then it kind of disappeared when she went all, like, evil and stuff on you. Which is the whole... Older computers, if you ever use them, um, they usually used to be always in school libraries. There was a certain obtuseness, I guess is the word you would use, to how you would like use them. It's like everything's always like multi-layered. So I'll, I'll give you a short example. I'm, I've literally just come off the top of my head. Just something like you could put in directorially and that wouldn't take you much time. Before she attacks you, right, you, like you get the little jump scare or something, put the little loading, the little loading time glass there. Don't make it happen right away. Just like, she's about to, like, catch you, screen goes black, like, meat, well, not completely black, but just kind of darkens, like, you know, like, the bonders turned off, and then the, the loading thing pops up, and you're like, oh, you're expecting a jump scare? Oh, no, it's just a loading screen. Loading screen ends, bam, there's your jump scare, right? They did it, kind of, with the, the internet hookup, and then you gotta, like, wait for the whole thing to, like, to go through. But I would just like kind of go with more of that because like I like the jokes, like I like the little like humor nods, like I've got four kilobytes of RAM. I, I think that's what she said. But you know, obviously, like four kilobytes of RAM at this time is like a lot. But like nowadays, it's like you know, it's nothing. But it, even then, even if it was a lot at a time, it was still slow. It's just your standards were different. So like, oh, I'm I'm just you know, hold up a second, I gotta load up the meat walls. These meat walls load up pretty fast, you know. They take a whole twenty seconds. So I would have kind of gone hard into that that angle if I were to add any more additional directing. Because I liked when it did do that. Uh, I thought that made it stand out a little bit. Anyway, so if you go for watching play Melissa, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.